Hey y'all, hey, your truly God's princess tapping in and bay, bay. Okay, so do you see this question right here? It says, are you against dating men with kids? Hmm, let's talk about it. All right, so for me, back in the day when I was in college, I told my mom, I said, I do not want to date a man who has children. <laughs> now, actually, it all started when I was in high school. I was like, I don't want to date a guy who has children because what if that happens to me? It's not like I was sexually active like that in high school. I'm just saying, what if I did? And what if I got pregnant? Because he already, you know what I'm saying? Got somebody else pregnant in high school. That could be me. So no, <laughs> no high school babies. Then college rolled around. My mentality was still one of the same. I didn't want to do that had children. However, the reasoning was different. <laughs> My reasoning in college why I didn't want a man who had children was because I felt like that was going to be money coming out of my income, <laughs> okay? Or the household, not money coming out of my income, but money coming out of my household. And the other reason was because I think that might have just been the only reason. There was money coming out of my household. Um, but then my mother and I had a conversation and she was like, well, Stephanie, what if your bonus dad would have felt the same way about me? I had you, but my thoughts to her and I love my bonus dad, but, and nothing against him, but he had two and she only had one. So my rationale was that don't even matter. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but her conversation with me, it did change my mentality and I did try to date somebody with a child and it was fine this was in college I did date somebody with a child and um it just seemed like the little baby didn't like me and most times children like me so that's another thing sometimes you got to deal with if it's a daughter and he had a daughter that daddy daughter bond because my father and I had one when I was growing up and my bonus mom did not like that all right so I know what it's like to be um on the receiving end on both ends to be the child with the step parent and to be the dating person working towards being a step parent i would be a good step parent because i know what it was like <laughs> with my bonus mom when i was younger it was only the love of christ that caused us to develop a good relationship later you see what i'm saying um so in this regard am i against dating men with kids now nah because a lot of men have children and I don't have any children. But my thing is this, if I'm gonna date you and you have children, I'm not dealing with baby mama drama. I'm not dealing with bad behind children who if I say something to them, ooh, cause that was another thing I dated this one dude, y'all. <laughs> and at Christmas time, his daughter came to visit him and the grandmother had told her to stop. Y'all look at my makeup. The, the grandmother had told her to stop walking so hard because of the neighbors beneath them. Well, she kept doing it. And I was like, hey, remember what your grandmother said? She started crying and her grandmama coddled her. I was like, what was wrong? And she started doing this and looking at me. Ooh, see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Like, I didn't even say anything for her to catch an attitude or start crying. But the grandmother coddled her and, coddled her, and then she wants to look at me like, hmm, and then stump her feet. <laughs> I'm gonna need to have a dude that can hear me and understand that I'm not harping on anything just to be harping on nothing. I'm saying what I'm saying because your child did it. I'm not gonna tell you something that your child did not do. So I don't want to meet a man who's going to side with his baby mamas or side with his children over me. <sighs> See, that's why abstinent lives matter because if people, and I'm not judging, all right, but if people wouldn't have children out of wedlock, the whole baby mama, baby daddy drama wouldn't exist. You see what I'm saying? And we wouldn't have to go through this because it's actually not God's way. However, babies are a blessing from the Lord no matter how they get here. So we just have to all learn how to communicate and co-labor with each other. The new wife and the baby mamas may not be friends, but they have to be cordial. The children may not like the new spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend, but they got to be cordial. And that's something that those parents are going to have to handle. Getting those baby mamas and baby daddies in check and them children in check. Leave me out of it. I just want peace. If I'm not going to have peace, I'm not dating a man who has children. That's just it. I love y'all. God loves you best. Chime in below. Would you date a man or are you against dating men or women with children? Hmm. Something to think about. Again, abstinent lives matter because God is not the author of confusion. The enemy is. And when we give into our flesh, what do we cause? Confusion and division. And that's not God. Hug yourself for me. Mwah. Mm -mm.